everybody. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Katie King is here. Crunchy Kate is the place. And we've got some pear and blueberry quinoa salad on the menu. It is a perfect dish for a sunny day and a beautiful week like this. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming in today. Yeah, thanks for having this me. Is a, this is a great dish. Something light, something easy. The sun is shining. Yeah, great to bring for a crowd. You right. can entertain with it, uh, throw some chicken, make it a dinner meal. You know, it's very versatile. So, so what do we need to put in this? So quinoa is the base. Um, I love a grain salad. It mm -hmm. really bulks it up. Yep. We've got mixed greens, a little baby spinach, arugula for a little bite um, with the peppery there. I've got onions sweet potatoes that will be roasting of course blueberries mm -hmm. then we're gonna candy some pecans over here with Ooh, some, that sounds yeah, good. That sounds yeah really good. some orange juice some honey we're gonna candy those and then make a vinaigrette with tahini and orange simple and easy to do no yeah. what, what is this right um, apple cider vinegar that's oh, okay. gonna be for the okay. vinaigrette I was like I, first I thought we were drinking at some point. oh yeah I mean you can it's great for <laughs> no, your digestion good, right? yeah it take is. a little shot before you uh, yes, eat and it, it helps your digestion it, it is good too a lot of people don't even know what to do with pears sometimes I mean I like a pear occasionally you can always chop if you don't have a pear, I'm sure you could chop apple. up like an apple yeah, or something yeah, yeah, like that of course. Too, and put it together. And these are all great dishes, and and you can you'll come out and, and cook for people too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm a personal chef. Um, all my clients, I cook in the clients' homes. Right. So um, you can hire me to do meal prep, a dinner party, brunches, lunches, um, anything. But it's all going to be cooked in your home. Got it. And this is the time of year you're probably looking for somebody to come to the house. Maybe you're having a party. Maybe you're having an event, and you don't feel like doing it yourself. That way you can enjoy time with uh, with the people who you've invited to the house, this is going to be a perfect dish and easy to put together too. So yeah. we'll we'll do that in just a little bit and uh, and then we'll give it a try. Why not, right? Of We're course, here. the best back, part. Yep, back <laughs> to you. Yes, the best part, back to you. And we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Crunchy Katie, Kate is here from, uh, and from Crunchy Kate is the place. Uh, Katie King is the chef, and we've got some pear and blueberry quinoa salad on the menu today, and it looks so good. It really does. Thank you. Want you want to just tell everybody what you what you put in here? Katie? Yeah, so we roast some sweet potatoes, um, candied some nuts. So I make a, a spice blend, and I use it throughout. So the same spice blend on the sweet potatoes is on the candied nuts, a little cinnamon, some ginger, paprika, pepper. And that's how you do the, the pecans, right? The pecans, yep. Okay. So we candied those with some honey, some orange, um, some orange juice, a little bit of butter. Candied those on the stove top, roasted the sweet potatoes. I chopped some pears, got some arugula, quinoa, um, and then we're just gonna plate it and top it with some some more blueberries and some more pecans. That here, looks so. really really good. Um, what's the what's the dressing you put in because there was like some some mustard over here too. Yep. Right? So it's a, t a lemon or an orange tahini vinaigrette with a Dijon. A little bit of apple cider vinegar, um, roasted garlic, a ton of roasted garlic. I like to roast like yeah. a whole head of garlic in right. there. Got to get that heart healthy, you know. Yep. Um, and then just a little bit of parsley, uh, and then the candied nuts. And tahini is used to like um, is like that that thick that paste, right? Yep, it's for yeah. um, hummus. Hummus, brown right. yeah, okay. sesame okay. seed. Right. So I don't do a lot of dairy, um, but tahini is great for like a creamy dressing without like the buttermilk or the mayonnaise. Okay. So it really. Um, Gives you that creamy mouth feel without having any cream or right. dairy in there. So, so yeah. So we got all different elements. I like a little crunch in my salad. I some do too. sweetness. Yeah, you uh, grain bulk it up makes it perfect for a meal. Yeah, it really does. I mean, it looks it looks so it looks so nice as you're putting this together. Now, for anyone who who hasn't seen you here on the show before, you will actually go to someone's house if they're having a party, if they're having an, an event, and cook for them. Yeah, of course. And is it all like uh, dishes like this, or will you do anything? I'll do anything. Um, I really specialize in lightened up comfort food, okay. um, so I really like to try to make old classics, but a little bit healthier. Right. So I really um, focus on, you know, lots of vegetables, okay. whole grains, single ingredient items, and really um, build menus with those. And people don't realize you're, you're eating healthy, but this can be very filling and yeah. is, is good for you with everything that you have in here as well. Yeah, and everything in moderation. You know, like I don't restrict anything. I don't do dairy for personal reasons, but um, I really don't restrict anything. You know, a little sugar is okay. I like to use honey and maple syrup when I'm cooking. But is it like, is this sub is like a substitute for it or something? Yeah, I mean, okay. I just don't use white sugar, Got but it. my daughter, like I don't restrict <laughs> yeah, anything yeah, yeah. from yeah, her. You right, know, right. I don't want her to indulge when right. I'm not around, so yeah. I let her have whatever. But I, when I'm cooking, I like to use either maple syrup, agave, date syrup is great. Okay. It's just blended dates. Right. Um, so yes. It looks it looks really good. All right, I, I just want to try it. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I'm standing here it. looking at this, and it it really does. It looks delicious. Now, someone wants because you don't have a a physical like 
restaurant location or right, anything, right? Correct. So um, I go into the homes of the clients. Okay. Yep, no commercial kitchen space okay. right now. And if somebody wants to get a hold of you, how can they do that? www.crunchykate.com. You can find me on Instagram, crunchy underscore Kate mm. or crunchy Kate LLC on Facebook. That is so good. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. And it really is that sweetness from the from the pears that you have in there along with the um, the candied uh, the candied pecans yep are in there too that's really really yep, good and the citrus really brightens it you got the sweetness from the sweet potato but yeah. a little crunch with the onion and the cucumber and that that dressing that you put on there would be good on like everything I mean, everything right <laughs> no it really is yeah i i this is like my my favorite dressing it's really just tahini ground mustard seed um a ton of garlic orange juice right thin it out with some water and a little apple cider vinegar it's great on chicken right. that's what i was going to say yeah. I, I think that would be like even just like a great marinade for yep. a chicken if you were going to put a chicken together and something like that and just marinate it in that for a little bit yep i do a turkey meatball and drizzle that on top i really Ooh. that's like my favorite go-to that dressing. sounds good too i yeah. love that i love that thank All you right. so this is simple it's easy to put together and if you want if you're having an event if you're having a party especially with graduation season yeah. coming up too. I'm sure you're going to be busy. Yeah, crazy busy. So um, I am booked through May. But oh, you are? Yeah, yeah, you. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Booked through May, um, but I'm taking summer parties June, July, August. I have weekends available. Okay. Um, my weekly meal prep is completely booked. So you do that too? So you will like cook stuff for people during the week too? Yeah, so that's what I really, my like specialty. So oh, I'll go into like the so home. that's so good, so you don't have to worry about what's yeah, for dinner Yeah, so I'll tonight. go into the home and prep about three or four bulk meals, so you get about four servings per meal. Got it. Um, and then it's all portioned out. You can pop them, I say oven or stovetop. I don't use a microwave because right. I think that it diminishes the flavor. Right, it does, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then people can eat healthy all week long without having to even think about well, that's it. That's great. Go check, go check it out. If you would like the recipe for this, and it really is, it's true delicious. Didn't take very long to put this together. You can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.